Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Fall Food Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing four of my favorite crock pot freezer meals. These meals are kid friendly, they cost about $10 each to make, and by doubling these recipes I'll be left with eight freezer meals that can be put together in about an hour. So in today's video I'm going to share with you the recipe, I'll show you how I store them as freezer meals, and then I'll show you how I cook them and serve them. Now before we get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you'd like to make these dinners yourself, you can find the full recipes on thefamilyfudge.com. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, now when it comes to freezer meals, I think most of you probably already know some of the biggest benefits. They can save you time and money by buying items in bulk. But I also know that sometimes freezer meals can seem a little bit overwhelming, especially if you're trying to make like a month's worth of meals all at once. Now, personally, I like to make about six to eight meals at a time. That way, it doesn't take me all day to put these meals together. The meals also don't take up all the space in my freezer. And it also means I'm gonna be using these meals a lot faster, so I don't have to worry about any freezer meals getting lost and ultimately wasted. Now when I'm choosing recipes, I like to keep in mind a couple different things. Number one, I want recipes that are as dump and go as possible. But I'm also looking for recipes that are kid friendly, budget friendly, and that have similar ingredients. Okay guys, so once you've picked out the recipes that you wanna make, my favorite tip is to use Walmart grocery pickup. I'll actually sit at my computer with my recipes and I'll build my shopping cart as I'm going through each recipe. That way I don't forget any ingredients. Then when it's time, I can just go to the store and pick up all of the ingredients that I need. Seriously, you guys, Walmart grocery pickup is such a game changer when it comes to meal prep. Definitely saves time and money and I love using it. Now I like to use the one gallon freezer bags. You can use whatever brand that you like. Personally, I think these hefty ones are really great because they have a stand up bottom, which definitely makes it easier to fill up your bags. And another thing that makes it a lot easier to fill up your bags are these little baggy stands. Now I actually found these on Amazon and they're surprisingly not that expensive. Definitely a good investment if you wanna make freezer meals often. And now on to the next step. It's time to put these freezer meals together. Now before I open up any cans and put anything into freezer bags, I want to label my bags. So I'm just taking some Sharpie markers and I'm writing on each bag what the item is and the date. Most freezer meals will last up to three months in your freezer, but personally I like to use mine up within a month. Now, like I said, the recipes I'm making today don't have a lot of chopping, which is excellent, but there are a few things. It's really just some onions and some peppers, so this won't take much time at all. One way I save time is by using my little chopper. I seriously love this tool, you guys. I honestly don't have the best knife skills, so this helps me to chop all of my ingredients a lot faster and all the pieces are the same size. So as you can see, I'm actually chopping up all of the veggies at this point for every single recipe. I'm doing this all at once to save time. And another time-saving tip is to use a garbage bowl as you're chopping up all your veggies. That way you're not taking multiple trips to the garbage can. First up, I'm gonna be putting together two bags of meatball parmesan soup. My kids love meatballs of all kinds, so this soup is definitely a hit around here. To each of my bags, I'm gonna start by adding one pound of frozen meatballs. You can use any kind that you like. I'm just using the Italian style ones today. Next, I'm going to be adding an entire jar of pasta sauce to each baggie. And for this, I really like the Parmesan flavor. It's nice and cheesy and perfect for this soup, but you could really use any sauce that you prefer. Next, I'm going to take a one pound bag of baby carrots, and I'm going to put half of the carrots in one of my bags and half in the other. Now, if you have kids that are picky about vegetables, you could definitely chop these up a lot smaller before adding them to the bag. But since I'm trying to throw these together quickly, I'm just gonna dump them in whole. To this, I'm also gonna be adding in my chopped sweet peppers. This is about a cup, followed by the chopped onion. That's also one cup per bag. Next, I'm adding one can of diced tomatoes, juice and all into each bag. 
And then the very last ingredient, since this is a soup, is going to be beef broth. But I'm not going to be putting it in the bag at this point. That would make my bag way too full. So I'm actually going to keep these boxes of broth in my pantry and I'll just add it into the crock pot when I'm ready to cook the soup. Next up, I'm making some black bean turkey chili. My kids love this chili because it's not too spicy and I like to serve it with lots of different toppings. First, I'm going to be adding one pound of ground turkey to each bag. This is fresh turkey, it's not frozen, and it's not cooked. Next, I'm going to be adding in the beans. So I'm going to be adding two cans of beans into each bag. And I do like to take one or two minutes to go ahead and drain those beans before I add them in. Next, I'm adding in some corn. I have this one pound bag of frozen corn. And I'm going to add half of the corn into my first bag and half the corn in the second. Next, it's time to add in the garlic. And for when I'm trying to save on time, I like to use the pre-minced garlic. It's not quite as good as the regular stuff, but it does save a lot of time. Next, I'm adding in the taco seasoning. This is definitely a time saver because there's so many different spices in here already. I don't have to measure out each individual spice. I'm just adding about a quarter cup into each bag. Next, I'm gonna be adding in lots of tomato sauce and some diced tomatoes as well. Each one of the bags is going to get two cans of tomato sauce and then just one can of diced tomatoes. Now, if you wanna make this chili on the spicier side, you also could use Rotel tomatoes, but since I want this to be kid-friendly, I'm keeping it mild. Next up, Mississippi chicken. So this is a lot like Mississippi pot roast, but I really like to make it with chicken because it's not quite as greasy. So for this recipe, I'm gonna start by adding about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast to my freezer bags. Now to this chicken, I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of ranch mix. Now if you don't have this big guy from Costco, you could also just use one packet of ranch powder. Next, I'm gonna be adding a packet of gravy mix. Now most recipes would call for au jus mix, but since I want mine to be gluten-free, I'm gonna be using a packet of the gluten-free gravy mix instead. I'm just gonna dump the entire packet into each bag. And then you can't have Mississippi pot roast or Mississippi chicken without pepperoncinis. Now sometimes these can be spicy, so you don't wanna to add too many of these. Anywhere between four to six is what I'll normally add into each bag. And then last but not least, I'm also going to be adding in some butter. Most recipes call for a whole stick of butter, but I'm just going to go ahead and put half a stick. And it's really going to make a delicious sauce that that chicken can soak up. Next, I'm throwing together some honey garlic chicken. This is a crock pot classic, so quick and easy. I'm going to start by adding two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast into each bag. Next, I'm taking one pound of baby carrots and I'm just going to divide this into each bag. Next, I'm gonna add in some of that diced onion. It's about a cup, followed by the garlic. You have to have garlic in honey garlic chicken, right? I'm just adding about a teaspoon of the pre-minced garlic. To this, I'm also adding half a cup of soy sauce. I really like the low sodium gluten-free kind, but you could use any soy sauce that you like. Next, I'm adding in half a cup of honey. And here's a tip, you guys. I like to spray my measuring cup with a little bit of non-stick spray first. That way the honey doesn't stick in there and it makes it so much easier to pour into the bag. And then the last thing I'm adding into this recipe is some ketchup. I'm just adding half a cup into each bag. Okay guys, so now that I have all of my bags put together, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove them from their stands. I'm gonna try to squeeze as much air out of the bag as I can and I'm going to seal them up. Now before I add these to my freezer, I like to add two bags to a cookie sheet. And then as I'm stacking up these baggies, I like to put a kitchen towel in between each layer of bags. That little kitchen towel in there is gonna make sure that our bags don't freeze together and get stuck together, cause that would not be good. Now when it comes time to cook your freezer meals, you have two options. You can take them directly from the freezer and add them to the crock pot just as is or you can take them out of the freezer the night before, let them defrost in the fridge overnight, and then add them to your crock pot in the morning. For the meatball Parmesan soup, I'm gonna go ahead and empty this directly into my crock pot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pour in all of my beef broth. This is four cups. Then I'll just add my lid on and cook this on low for about eight hours. 
Now when this is done, I'm going to go ahead and remove the lid. Then I'm going to add half a cup of shredded Parmesan to the soup and stir it all up. To serve this, I like to add a scoop to my bowl, add some extra Parmesan to the top, and it's good to go. Now for the black bean turkey chili, when I'm ready to cook it, I will add it to my crock pot, and then I'm not actually gonna be adding any liquid at all. I want this chili to be nice and thick. I'm gonna cook this on low for about six to eight hours, and I am gonna go back and stir this occasionally. Now when this is done, I like to add it to a bowl and then pile on the toppings. I like to add some green onions, some cheese, a dollop of sour cream, maybe some tortilla strips. Those are all perfect toppings for this chili. For the Mississippi chicken, when I'm ready to cook this, I just dump the entire bag into my crock pot. I'll place my lid on and I'm going to cook this on low for six to eight hours. Definitely check this at six hours. You do not want to overcook it or it might become dry. When it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the chicken. I'll go ahead and shred that up and then add it back in to my crock pot. That way it can absorb all of those delicious juices. It is so good. Now you could serve this over rice or potatoes, but I really like to put this on a sandwich. So I'm gonna pile it onto a roll. I'm gonna add some cheese in there as well. When I want to cook the honey garlic chicken, all I have to do is empty the bag directly into the crock pot and then cook on low for five to six hours. Again, anytime I'm cooking chicken in the crock pot, I definitely want to check on it just to make sure it doesn't get overcooked. Once the chicken breaks apart easily, it's done. I like to serve this over rice and then top it with some fresh green onion. Now, if you'd like to check out even more Crock-Pot recipes, you can click on the link right here. And don't forget to go check out the fall food playlist. I will link it down below. I can't wait to check out all the recipes there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.